right, Stephen Key here, and I have two very special guests with me that are going to help you understand what DRTV is all about. And if you've got ideas for that particular industry, these are the right guys. So first of all, let me tighten that down. I've got Steve. I've got Jackie. Welcome to InventRight TV. Hey. Thank you. Hello. Hey, okay, so before we get started, everybody wants to know a little bit about direct or DRTV. I'm a little confused by it. I know that it's a big industry. It's a fast way to make money if you're an inventor. It's kind of like the wild, wild west a little bit too, isn't it? I mean, it's kind of fast and crazy. Is that true? Uh, the process can be lightning fast. Um, when we did uh, Be Active, we saw the inventor at a kind of a you know Shark Tank event and we shot a commercial within six weeks and we had tested it within two months and we were off to the races. Okay, it's quick. So first of all, I see the sign in the background. Let's get a good look at that. It says Top Dog Direct. Okay, what do you guys do? Tell us a little bit about your company. Sure, yeah, so we work with inventors every single day um, and we work with them to, if we like their product, we bring it to market. So how that happens is we, first off, we like to web test it just to make sure that there's even a pulse on the product. Um, but then we'll move to a commercial and we use a guy named John Miller um, and Peter Hutton in Boca Raton, Florida. Um, we go to the shoot usually during non-COVID times. Um, the inventor is more than welcome to come to give in their input because we know how important it is. Um, and we shoot the commercial. We run some media behind it, about $15,000 worth. Correct. Um, and then if it works, then we bring it into all major retailers like um, Walmart, wait, Target. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This yeah. sounds simple if I'm an inventor. It's relatively simple, but it all starts with the product. Mm -hmm. So the process of getting the product is the toughest thing. The commercial is not, but there's a lot of art to it. Can we switch the camera a little bit, Steve? I want to see, make sure we see you very big. Okay, great. So I want to talk a little bit about um, what type of products are you looking for? Because most inventors seem like they, they don't quite understand certain certain markets so they might be submitting the wrong ideas to maybe to you so what are you looking for is there a price point is there a category what's good for you well in the past obviously there was that 1999 price point but the cost of media and everything else and the market has definitely changed away our leading product is clean zone and that's $99 so, and it's doing really well for us. Okay. And we've been running it for over a year. And so we've, we've, uh, how would you say, we have an expertise in medical and health related things. Okay. And it's not because of a plan to do that. It's because those products came to us okay. and we developed that expertise. So clean zone, clean CPAP uh, equipment. We've Very done good. tag away, nerve pain away, uh, be active brace, but we've done other things as well. So, okay. you know, our, our Campbell cane is kind of medical okay. and that was invented by a gentleman, a retired gentleman in South Carolina. He brought it to us. We actually, we went right to a commercial with that. We didn't do any mm -hmm. web testing for that. And just naturally we've, we've gone to it. And a lot of TV is, you know, a lot of older people are watching TV okay. and younger people aren't. And so we've kind of hit a good trend with that. But we're open to everything. Got it. Okay. Now, the, the cane, it's the cane. What's it called? Because it's very it's a very simple idea. Um, the, cane that... the Campbell Posture Cane. And okay. what's different is it's kind of like a walking stick. There's one actually right over here. Steve's going to grab. Um, and the handle's what's so unique. It helps you to stand up straight. We actually call it the Campbell Posture Cane. Um, and then the bottom has a really nice foot that stands up on its own, um, which people love so they can just grab it whenever they need it. Um, so you're standing up, 
as opposed to so it gives you better posture you're not leaning over those canes. i always wonder why the canes were so short it, it made yeah. no sense at all in here it takes the uh, pressure off your your arms and shoulders okay but the whole idea like this it's immediately understandable it's easy to explain and easy to demonstrate okay. and so that's why we went to it it fit our demographics of people watching tv okay and so it fit into our our genre you know obviously we had to source the product and make sure that it hit our economics okay but um it did his costs were a lot higher than ours and then we sourced it and it got into our range and we sold it and continue to sell it between 29 and 39 dollars nice. and he makes a royalty off of all of the canes and the tips I love it okay let's talk about this for just a minute what do you need from us from inventors do you need a prototype a one minute video pitch a sell sheet I mean what's the best way for you to review a product submission so just like everybody else we're pretty visual so if you could send some type of picture or a video to demonstrate how it's unique compared to anything else on the market, that works best. Okay. Um, but we do, we'll take anything. If yeah. you just have an idea, just let us know what it is. Um, we okay. can work with people overseas or here in America and develop the idea that you're talking about. But we do like to see what you mean. Okay. The video doesn't have to be well produced. No. It could be an iPhone video as rough as, as rough as rough as it could be. Or, you know, a drawing or, you know, here is my idea, here's how it's different, that type of thing in a drawing, that type of thing. We can source things, we can make things, but it helps the process along if we have a prototype for sure. Yeah, it probably helps if you really understand what the benefits are. If you've got a video showing a problem and a solution, that's probably helpful as well. How important is it for someone to file intellectual property? Is a, is a provisional patent application okay? Is that, is that all you need to start it off, or do you even need that? You can uh, his, his expertise. It's nice to have some type of patent protection. Okay. But it's most important to get to market first, okay. to be out there, to be the one that's at all the major retailers, to have the hit TV spot and all that. All right. uh, some of our uh, not so ethical competitors, uh, if they want to knock off a product that is patented, they're going to do it anyway. And so a real patent doesn't make sense. And plus, I don't want the inventors stretching their limited dollars on the patent issues okay. when it's all that not that necessary. Well, that's, oh, fantastic. Um, that's music to my ears. I know it's going to be for their ears, too. Um, you're really easy to get a hold of, right? I mean, your, your yeah. telephone number is like on your website. I mean, Jackie, yeah. your number's there. Steve, your number is there. They can just call you. Yeah. Is that the way that works? You yeah. could give us a call. You can email us. We'll get back to you within 24 hours. Um, it's, it's just Jackie, I, and Bill McAllister. And that's our, our team. Our, our process is very quick and what have you. Our process is different that we don't do hundreds of products or dozens of products a year. We usually are sequential okay. uh, that we concentrate on maybe four to five products a year to do and make commercials. And so we get really intensive into the product itself. So that's and your so major difference, isn't it? You're a smaller team, you're probably a little quicker um, because sometimes inventors send things in and they don't hear back and they're, they're imagining what's going on. So you're pretty responsive, which are, I think they're gonna absolutely love. Hopefully not too many ideas come flooding into you, but. We welcome them. But you remember, we, you know, we recently got an idea which was a kitchen item from you. Yeah. Jackie got it. We reviewed it that same day. We thought it was cool. We called the inventor and we were in the process of doing a web test within a okay. week. Yeah, and we'll have the results to that web test if we're going to move forward with the commercial next Monday, actually. So, okay. well, that's how we, just so everybody's listening, that's how we kind of got together 
Um, right. We had a student that had a, I thought had a spectacular video. You saw the video too. It was a great video. And that helped us for the web test because it was already ready to go. So it was already didn't... ready to go. You could, yeah, I, I'm, I'm trying to tell everybody, if you make your life easier, right, by having those type of um, tools, assets, marketing material, you can go even faster. But I just liked how fast it went. And that's why I reached out to you. And I cannot thank you enough for um, coming on and sharing all this great stuff with our audience. Sure. Of course. I, I miss the times that we would go to like MIT or Inventors Club in Chicago or right. we meet inventors, but it, this is a great way. No, I think we met briefly in Chicago a couple of years ago, I remember Steve. So anyway, Steve, Jackie, thank you very much for coming on InventRight TV. Once you start to get the ideas, let's have you back. And then you can kind of say, you know, tell us what you saw, what, what was good, what was wrong, how we can always improve to get you better ideas. Okay, okay great. great, that Fantastic. sounds good. All right. Hey, Stephen Key here, InventRight hey. TV. Subscribe down below, keep on coming back. Great stuff, love it. The audience is gonna be calling you right away, so thank you very much. Thank right, you.